Are you ready for a pattern review? Let's get right on into it. So if that's some content you would like to see, keep on watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick pattern review for another skirt that I created this week, which is the jean style skirt utilizing new look 6703. Now before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this quick pattern review pattern review. But if you are new to the channel, oh welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag. Hola, aloha, konnichiwa, wagwan, bonjour. If you know what to do because you are returning, go ahead and do it and go and get your coffee, your tea, your water, your juice, whatever you want to drink and come chill on, chill on this ride with me for this pattern review, which is going to be very quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the pattern description. So the pattern description for new look 6703 is a Mrs. Jean style skirt in two lengths. It has a front pockets, it has back pockets, it has a yoke, it has a waistband, and then it has a front slit if you are doing, I believe it's view A, which is the longer length, okay? Um, also, it does have an optional drawstring casing as well if you are doing view B. So that is the pattern description for New Look 6703. Let's talk about skill level. So the sewing skill level for this pattern is rated as average. Do I feel that is average? Absolutely, okay? So the reason why I feel that is average is simply because you have to know how to do a fly front. And this is something that I have said before that a lot of pants that you do, if it's not elastic, you will be pretty much doing a fly front. I have a particular way that I do a fly front. I do not follow the, the instructions on the pattern in order to do a fly front. You will see that in a different video when I do a fly front. I will show you how I do my fly front um, in a different video, okay? Let's go ahead and talk about the notions used. So the notions used for this pattern was just a zipper. I think it was a seven inch zipper. Yes, a seven inch all purpose or exposed zipper. And then you need one three fourths inch button. If you are doing view B, cause I did view A, if you are doing view B, you also need some cording. So you need two and five eighths yard of a fourth of an inch wide cording. And that's basically to make the core that you see on view B um, through the drawstring. You know, create a drawstring and have that drawstring come around so you could kind of like tighten it up to make it look kind of like a paperback skirt. Okay? So that's that. Let's talk about fabric use. So the fabric use is 100% Ankara print. I purchased the fabric from Wax Prints, Lace and More. Um, this fabric is no longer available, but speaking of Wax Prints, Lace and More, Wax Prints, Lace and More is currently having a 50% off sell going on right now. So you can get a six yard bundle for $17.99. Yes, I said it. You can purchase six yards of fabric for $17.99. Most of them are $17.99, some of them are $16, some of them are $15, but I do want to say that it's not on all fabric. You have to go to type in the search sell, and when you type in the search sell, it'll bring up all the fabrics that she is currently having a 50% off sell for. So just go on over to a wax prints and more, and you can see that sell and save you 50% off. Thank me later. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the pattern pieces. So for the pattern pieces, um, I use every last pattern piece in the envelope. It's 12, okay? So it's the front, the underlap, the fly, the pocket facing, the front and back yoke, the back, the back pocket, the yoke back, the carrier, the front, the right front waistband, the left front waistband, the and the back waistband. So those are all the pieces on this pattern, um, New Look 6703, that you will use in order to cr create your uh, jean style or denim style skirt. So 
When I say a jean style skirt, it's basically a denim skirt. However, I did not use denim nor um, twill or any of that stuff. I just used Ankara print from my stash because I wasn't sure if I was going to like the skirt or not. So it was easier to kind of test the pattern out just to see if I like it. And then if I like it, I can do it again. Okay, which we will talk about in likes and dislikes here shortly. Let's talk about pattern sizing. So that for this pattern, the pattern comes in one size, which is size six through 18. The size that I cut was a size 18, which is the largest size. However, I did enlarge the hips and I enlarged the hips by two inches, okay? Um, and I enlarged the hips by two inches simply because this time around I went for a 47 and a half instead of a 48 and a half inch hip. Now you guys know that my hips are running anywhere from 45 inch to 46, depending on what it is. And 47 and a half gave me a nice amount of ease, just giving it two inches. So I was pleased with that as well. Now that we talked about the pattern sizing, let's go ahead and talk about the pattern sizing, the size I cut. Let's talk about modifications. Did I make any modifications to this pattern? No. I did not at all. Um, I did everything for view A that the instructions call for. So no, I did not make any modifications to this pattern. Did it look like the photos are the drawing on the pattern envelope? For view A, yes, it does. Uh, view A is pretty long, so it does look like that. However, the reason why I wanted view A instead of view B is simply because I could wear the skirt to work. So I had to be mindful of not doing view B, the shorter length, because I needed something straight to my knees and not something that's too short. So that's why I did view A and I still have a lot of this fabric left over. All right, let's talk about likes and dislikes. So dislikes, um, I think for me, the skirt is a little long. I could have taken it up a little bit, but like I said before, that I didn't want it to be short, so I just left it the length that it is. However, I would say that if I make the skirt again, I would definitely um, cut it off about two inches, but if I do that, I might as well just do view B and add an inch. I don't know, we'll see. So that's my dislikes. Um, likes, well, let me go back to dislikes. So another dislike is, um, the way they have you put on the uh, pockets. I didn't like that. It's just, yeah, it, the instructions was too much for the pockets. I could have done it a different way. I did not because I just kind of followed along with the instructions except for doing the fly front. Um, but other than that, there's no other dislikes. I like the pattern per se, but I would do the instructions a little different, all right? Let's talk about first time experiences. Did I have any first time experiences? No, not at all. No first time experiences. Would I sew this again? Um, yes and no. Yes, I would sew a jean style or denim skirt, but would I sew this pattern in particular? I don't know. I like it, but not enough to sew it again right now. All right, maybe in the near future in a, few, in a couple of months or something, maybe. Would I do a sew along to this pattern? Absolutely not, um, because it's quite a bit of step and quite a bit of pieces. And because it's 12 pattern pieces, most of my viewers would not want to, you know, sit and sew 12 pattern pieces. So I would not do a sew along for this pattern, which is why I did not do a sew along for this pattern. All right. <laughs> would I recommend this pattern to others? Uh, yes and no. Uh, yes. If this is your vibe to do a jean style skirt, no, if you are put off about how many pattern pieces it is. So yes and no. Um, and because this is not like a super beginner friendly pattern, I would recommend it to my intermediate sewers. However, for my beginner sewers, absolutely not. I would not recommend this pattern to you at all. All right, so and for my pattern rating, I'm going to give this pattern a 3.5 out of five. It's not one that I just completely dislike or hate. It's just one of those patterns where it's like, I could have chose a better pattern for my jean style skirt, but I'm gonna show you the skirt because I did take it off. This is the skirt. 
so you can see it kind of like closer but i'll also put photos up of course and this is the front as well and you can see like right here the um fly front area right there as well so i do like that and there is one portion in the instructions that's incorrect and it's basically the way you well i wouldn't say it's incorrect because i did it a different way so it could be because of the way that i install my fly front zippers it could be how it would make it seem as if my zipper is on the wrong side but other than that there's there's no issues whatsoever well that's it for my pattern review i hope you enjoyed my pattern review for new look 6703 do not forget to like comment and subscribe Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You supposed to be this close to me. And hopefully, you understand G.O.D. Maybe this cold and I'm talking like no degrees. This ain't a fluke. I seen it way before it ever happened. He gave me the view. I had to put in my time on the TV. It coming in soon.